Welcome to my lecture on the moment generated function of the Poisson distribution. So, so here's a fact that we'll need. And it's from calculus. And it says e to the z is going to be 1 plus z plus z squared over 2 factorial plus z cubed over 3 factorial. And this keeps going infinitely. So we can write this as the infinite sum from uh k equals 0 to infinity of z to the k over k factorial. Okay. And that's the Taylor series. I like to point out that the index k doesn't actually matter. I could use any variable. I could use i, I could use x, any of those things. So now if I want to calculate the moment generating function, I need to write down mx of t, and its definition is just the expected value of e to the t times x, um, and if I have e to the t times x, I'm going to take the summation from x equals 0 to infinity because the values of the Poisson distribution start at 0 and go all the way to infinity. And it's e to the t times x times the probability of x. Now for a Poisson distribution, the Poisson probability distribution is written as follows. It's e to the minus lambda times lambda to the x over x factorial. Okay. Now I'd like to point out that this e to the minus lambda, that actually does not depend on this index of x. So we can go ahead and take that out. Okay, um, so we're going to have lambda to the x times e to the t times x divided by x factorial. Now I'd further point out that this exponent and this exponent are the same. So by the rules of probability, uh, by the rules of exponents, we can simplify this as follows. So we can take out the power of x just by the rule of exponents. Uh, then remember that this fact here, okay? So here, here was our fact. And that was that e to the z was going to be the summation from k equals 0 to infinity of this e of this um, z to the k over k factorial. Well, here, what's playing the role of the k is the x, 
and we have that form right here. But what I'm going to call Z is going to be that piece right there. Okay, so when I use this little piece, I'm going to have e to the minus lambda. Then I'm going to use that Taylor series in blue to say that's e to the z. So once again, e to the minus lambda times e to the z. And z is this lambda e to the t. So lambda times e to the t. Okay. So now using the properties of exponents, we can combine those. Okay. So mx of t is going to be e times lambda e to the t. Let's try and write that a little bit better one more time. Minus lambda, okay? And that's the moment generating function. So next, I wanna calculate the mean. The mean is going to be mx prime of t, so the evaluated at zero, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the derivative. And when I take the derivative of this, I'm gonna use the chain rule. Okay. So the chain rule is gonna say, well, differentiate the exponential and keep everything inside inside. And what's inside is this lambda e to the t minus lambda. Then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of what's in the exponent. And that's just going to be lambda times e to the t. And the derivative of lambda is zero. So finally, I'm going to get lambda times e to the t times e to the lambda times e to the t minus lambda. So finally the mean is gonna be when we plug in zero. So this is gonna be lambda times e to the zero, that's one, times e to the lambda times e to the zero minus lambda. And that works out to be lambda times e to the lambda minus lambda, which equals lambda. So the mean value of the Poisson distribution is lambda, and that's a key fact. Um, because one of the reasons we're able to recognize a Poisson distribution is based on the mean. Someone has to tell you the value of lambda, and that's usually what's given in the problem. Okay, thank you.